easy surrealist collage with Autodesk Sketchbook. I'm going to start out by finding some pictures on Safari. I'm going to look for a nice landscape picture for the background. I'm just searching for landscape. I like this one right here. So I'll save it. And I'll search up. Well, I had a couple more objects. And I'll save them. This Coke bottle. And I think some scissors. Uh, not those. Yeah, those. Then I'm going to add my background first. There it is. And then I'll just, just kind of pinch and have it fill up the whole screen. That's a nice background. Then I'm going to add my Coke bottle. Oh, it's got that gray around it. I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to move them around until I can find a nice place. Let's set it on this rock here. Yeah. Still got that gray, though. I'm going to get rid of that. I'll show you some easy ways to do that. First of all, we'll use the selection tools again. We're going to use the magic wand tool. If you notice, when you click on that gray, it all selects all that same color gray. Here's that color gray. And if I click that layer over here and click cut, look, it just cut out that whole little bit of gray. And we can go all around. Click on that layer. And click and cut. Cut a lot. I'm just like taking little bites away. The magic wand tool is a great little tool to remove a background when it's all one solid color. It's still got a little bit of white there, so we're gonna clean it up a little bit with an eraser. I'll find the eraser over there on the left side. There it is. And we'll kind of clean up some of the... Sometimes you may need to hide the background. And then you'll be able to see what we're trying to erase a little better. So we'll hide that background. You can see all what I'm erasing. Let's use a different eraser for this. I'm going to use this eraser down here. Yeah. We're gonna turn up the flow. We're gonna turn down the size just a little bit on it. And clean up this bottle. Get all these little places that the magic wand missed. We'll get it nice and clean so we can make it look like it really fits in with that background. There it is. It'll then it just look like it's sitting on that rock. We can make it look a little better though. We're gonna make it look a little surreal. We're gonna do some surrealist collage here. We're gonna make this bottle melt over the rock. We're gonna use the selection tools. Here's the lasso. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. And we're gonna select the back part of this bottle first with that lasso. And then we're gonna get the transform tools and we're gonna move it around. We're gonna move that back half of the bottle. Let's we don't want to make it any bigger or smaller, but we want to move it around a little bit so that we can... Now we're going to get the distort tool. We're going to drag these little points. All those little points of the square on the corners. Even that one in the middle. You can see which one I'm moving. It's lighting up blue. We're going to try to drag it around until it looks like it's just draping over that rock. And we'll do that a couple more times. So we're gonna get that lasso tool back again and we're gonna we'll zoom in there so you can see we're selecting just the front part of the bottle this time. Going around. We're gonna transform and we're gonna distort. We'll distort out. We're gonna pull on those little corners and all those little circles that every one of them you pull on, it's gonna distort it in different ways. We're gonna kinda of distort. This front part of the bottle will look like it's hanging forward over the edge. And 
just play with it. And if you ever mess anything up, you can always just hit the undo button and just fix it back to the way that you had it whenever you liked it last. Let's turn it around a little bit. There we go. We got to really make it look like it's really drooping down there. There we go. Gravity's really pulling down on that bottle. Really stretching it out. Really stretching that top corner. Let's pick up the, all the corners and get them where we want them. Even that metal you can move it around. Autodesk sketchbook's just great for stuff like this. It just takes a little bit of patience. Look at that bottle melting. We can get that eraser back. Let's clean up some of these little places where the where it's overlapping wrong or around the edges a little bit to make it look like it's melting. Just soften everything. Maybe even look like it's drooping a little bit like it's made of wax. This video is real time. I'm not speeding anything up. You can make really cool stuff with sketchbook pretty quickly. This artwork took me about 12 minutes to make. It all comes down to knowing how to use the tools and finding good pictures. And then having the patience to let your creativity make something fantastic. Now I'm going to get the airbrush and I'm going to get some black. I'm going to add some shadows. Just the underside of this bottle needs to be a little darker so it's in shadow and it's probably even going to cast a little bit of a shadow down onto the rock too so we'll put in some shadows there just to really 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 make that that bottle look like it's sitting on the rock we'll just airbrush a little bit and just play with the size of the airbrush and the flow of that airbrush until it's Putting out that black color the way that you want to, that's looking pretty good. Add a little more. Just take it slow with the airbrushing. You want to make it look like a shadow, you don't want to make it look like a big hole on the picture. You just want to make it look like that bottle is sitting on the rock. We don't want to put too dark, we just want to darken up the rock color. I don't want to completely darken it, so you want to leave the opacity down a little bit so the rock color can show through just a little. I want to make that bottle droop just a tiny little bit more. So we'll go back to those transform tools and the distort tool. Oops, got to make sure you're on the right layer. That was actually just the shadow layer. We need to make sure we're on the right layer. It's easy to make mistakes once you get lots of layers. Don't start feeling bad about that. Yeah, pulling that down a little bit. That's really making it look real melty. Distort tools. Melting the bottle. What else this picture needs? It needs those scissors. Oh, and look how that airbrush is over top of the scissors right now. Let's move that that layer. Let's move the scissors over top and let's get rid of that gray. I think we're gonna have to use the lasso tool to do this. There's so many different colors of shadow there and they're almost exactly the color of the scissors so I'm just gonna be real careful. I'm gonna go along with that lasso tool real careful. get this one side of the background. Ah, oh, the line went right through. The scissors, that's okay though. Here's what I'll do. I'll select the remove. Now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna select just where that 
the scissors are. You click that, look, it's removed that from the selection and I will now go and cut and snip that little bit away. We'll bite it away a little bit by little bit, just like we did before, but we're using the lasso tool. Select the next little part. Right inside the place where you put the, your fingers. I'm just taking my time with that lasso tool to get right along the edge. And cut it out. Just take it a little bite by bite. You don't have to do it all at once. Nothing worse you can do when you're making art than to start rushing through things. You always want to take your time. Do your best. We're just gonna take our time to cut those spaces out. All we want is the scissors. So the scissors would be the positive space of this. Now we're trying to cut away all the negative space. That's just the background. A little bit by a little bit. Oh, this is a nice big bite here. That doesn't make much sense. I'll just kind of use two fingers and just kind of wiggle it around till we find a good spot right here. I think that'd be good. Let's put it right there. Let's make it look like it's really in that water too. Get that eraser back. Let's erase the little bottom part of it so it looks like it's dipping down into the water. The water's... like a scalloper, like this big, looks like fingernail scissors or something. And why is that Coke bottle melted down next? It's almost as though the Coke bottle wants to pull the scissors from the lake. We'll get back to that. Airbrush will give us a little lot more shadows. Maybe we can even... Put some down at the bottom in the water. Make it look like a bit of a reflection, or even that's just marvelous. Look at that surrealist collage there. Let's just save it now. Share. Oh, you you know what to do. <laughs> 